cyc- uh, cyclone mm-hmm. slicing maelstrom and then there's gonna be a kaisa that could cut in with killer instinct it's gonna be yeah. crazy in the team fights not to mention calyx has the same thing headbutt pulverize with dragon's descent and then camille's hextech ultimatum you're not even considering the star surge from aurelian soul yet so these two teams are going up going for that full-on team fight so it's gonna be a really interesting game too Yes, a little weakness on the red side. Um, the cannon is not that strong in the laning phase anymore. Um, cannon is going to be the mid player, uh, mid champion of the Indonesian team Arcelli Ten, and he's going to go up against a very premier laner, Welcome which is the Aurelius Sol. Wild so I guess that's the weakness I can see. I think Aurelius Sol, if ever the micro is at par with cannon, cannon will have a hard time here in the middle. So this is going to be interesting uh, matchup here in the mid. Minions if ever Aurelius Sol will have a good time right here in the mid it's gonna put the power spike to their side onto the calyx and let's see what happens early game it's gonna be a pretty piece peaceful uh early game for both teams so we will have time and space to introduce the teams go ahead isaac yep for the side of calyx a uh, space gamer calyx we have andy on camille we have uh I'm, I'm sorry i can't read their names anymore it's too capitalized we have uh shivana we have alistar we have aurelian soul and we have saya Right, and on the red side, we have our Indonesian team, our Sally Ten. We have Silax on the Brom support. We have Chika on the Wukong Baron. I mean, uh, uh, jungler right there. Pengu Pengu on the ADR Kaisa. We have GG Miong on the Olaf Baron Laner and Lin Kerry on the mid, um, cannon right here going up against Aurelion. So, right, um, the uh, game, what do you call this? Win condition for both teams is got the Shivana late game. It's gonna be a big factor right here. Whenever this Camille is gonna be able to split push like crazy again. Camille doesn't really have to join the fight. Yeah, very good split push right here. Um, that's gonna be something to look at also. They could be going for that since it's gonna be a late game lineup more or less for the blue side. So they'll try to drag this game out. On the mid side, the man, um, and Linori being pushed away by this. Ooh, Olaf is already very low at the top. Eats uh, the Ignite right there, but is going to be okay after eating that fruit right there. So again, uh, it's Andy who's getting the better part of the clash right here, of the lineup here at the top. And that Camille is going to be crazy later on in this game and it's going to be scary. Yep. They, they specifically picked this Camille to go up against that Olaf. So right. uh, you want to make sure that your Hextech ultimate connects on an Olaf that's using Ragnarok so that the Olaf is not going to be able to get away. That's essentially the plan here, and that's essentially what they're going to be doing in the team fight. So you're now going to need to rely heavily on the Wukong and this Kennen to actually make the work done so this Kaisa could actually free hit. But True, at the right? end of the day, you also have the Brom to worry about. So there are a lot of True. things to consider overall. Olaf is a pretty scary champion in the team fights, right? Yes, but yeah, with uh, with the split push pressure of this Andy, I think they're going to be able to remove Olaf in the equation of the fight, and that is going to be very favorable on the Kalix side right here. Let's see um, how it is going to be faring. Everything is at theory right now. It's been a pretty peaceful early game for both teams. We are headed for the three-minute mark where our dragon counter will be starting and it's going to be the infernal drake that is going to be spawning re anytime soon this is going to be a battle right here we need to actually see it before we can believe it uh, but at the three minute mark this is where the ultimates come in let's actually check out and see whether anyone's going to be using big skills before this dragon fight right now there are no movements across the map everyone's still farming up waiting for that four minute point but all eyes are going to be on andy here andy with the exec ultimatum possibly with a combo of her own, could actually take out uh, Gigi Myung here on the top side. They might want to go for a top side rotation to actually have that done before they head into the Dragon's Pit, but uh, Aurelian Sol not showing many signs just yet of making any rotations because they know very well that Araceli Indonesia has all of these riversides covered with wards. Yes, um, this Aurelian Sol can always reset at the very late part of the game so that he will have a good head start with her, with his third skill and stun and I we should be seeing the uh the TP's 
anytime soon, but no, Ariel Sol is not going to be TPing back. The dragon is already alive right here. This is bad news for red team if they're gonna not if they're not gonna go for this. It is a ward battle right now. Wards. This is very Ooh. wise. Yes, ward battle is very important at this point. No one is taking risk, especially Calix. They are already down zero one in the series. They will have to make their uh, bring their A game to really win this game to drag this out onto the game three and no uh, no steal right there no dragons after the moment no one wants to take the risk man yep Th this is a big risk if anyone tries to start it so i'm pretty sure both these teams are looking for pickoffs right now which is why they're not starting anything just yet yes. unless they have full control where both these Baron laners are going to be there to join the fights. So maybe it's going to be possible. But you're seeing an engagement Ooh. here. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a, that's Andy making a critical misplay. Was not able to escape all that pop and that Ragnarok. Did not even commit the... Uh, did not even commit the Hextech ultimatum. So with Andy going down, you saw Sano for RSL Indonesia to start this. There's going to be a TP in as well, but now the Slicey Maelstrom is going to be committed. That is going to be Infernal Drake going to the side of RSL Indonesia. Now, they're actually falling apart like flies. That's already too dead for the side of Kalex. They're trying to turn the fight, though. They're taking three down so far. Here's one. Oh, my God. Uh, they really tried to go for that. But this Kaisa was still full of health. And that is going to be a big win for the side of RSL Indonesia taking that first drink of the game. Yes, it's un an unofficial wipeout for champions falling here in that dragon fight up, up the top. Calix uh, Andy did go down also from the Olaf. That cost them a lot. That was the trigger right there uh, for that, that uh, Red T was waiting for. And they're not done yet. They're going for this. Uh, Andy right here. Andy's very mobile. It's not going to be taking any damage at all. Takes down the top turret at the very least. 3-5 to five on the scoreboard. But it is Red Team right now on top of this game with their Baron buff. I mean with their uh, Drake buff. Hmm. They have control, they have the wards, I don't think they're going to be able to contest this. It's going to yes, be way so. too fast and too much damage coming in from RSL Indonesia getting that Kaisa. Uh, in hindsight, they banned out the Kaisa for a reason. And now that uh, now that the Kaisa wasn't banned, it's showing up really well in this matchup. Alright, right. Now this cannon pick proving to be very good for uh, for the red team right now. Um, at the top, uh, the third is taking damage right here. Kaisa is shooting it down, but just half HP down. Uh, Gambling X is already here to try to protect that. Look at the damage right there. Ouch. Sabi ng Kalabaw. And there it is at the bottom uh, side. Uh, oh, uh, Hextex Ultimatum. Ragnarok is not going to work on that. And that is the old daddy dead. But for, from the Cal from the Calyx, Andy, right there. Good uh, good pickup right there. And it's going to open up a push at the bottom with the Dragon. This is going to be very big for Calyx. And they should be back in this game. And they already are in the lead after that pickup. So this is very big for Calyx indeed. Um, there was also a slicing Maelstrom committed in the mid lane there. When uh, when Kennen was trying to go after that Aurelian Sol. Was not able to connect to actually pressure the Aurelian Sol further. So, no slicing Maelstrom for now. But given that the timer for the next Drake isn't until um, possibly around 9 minutes. I'm not sure what time they took it. But it's gonna be a while before the next fight. So, there was a reason to just go for that solo kill with the slicing maelstrom even if um, you know even if they weren't able to use it successfully all right right and they're ganging up here in the mid already so is in trouble right here it's gonna be stunned and it is gonna be the stasis oh, to try to survive or oh, ultimate wow. by already so just a hail mary right there but he is still gonna go down becomes cannon food <laughs> right there or else on down four to zero no no i mean four champions against five the drake is not just alive just yet so they cannot capitalize on this uh advantage that they have right now but they're gonna go for the olaf instead olaf is focused on a kathian rain is gonna rain down but the tankiness of this alistar is right there already they won't be able to pressure this that much at all and there it is the timer is already up let's see the resets are gonna start pouring in right here 
Who will take the dragon? Blue team will need this one. Let's see if they can go for it again. Rift Herald is going to be summoned here in the mid to create space and distract the blue team. Too but early. that's going to go down fast, right? Everyone's not yet right here for the position. Too early. That, yeah, that was too a early, idea. They, they wasted a big Herald there when they could have timed it uh, along with that Drake. Since True. they used that immediately, they didn't get anything out of it aside from just some damage onto that first tower in the mid lane. But now, you're already seeing Kalex. They know that there's no Herald to actually uh, decide against. But Ooh. they're going to be using all... There goes Slicing Maelstrom already committed there. The Shivana is still going to be getting that Ocean Dragon though. And now they're going to be blowing up with the fights here. With that Slicing Maelstrom not being enough, you can see the free hits coming from the Aurelion Soul. That's an ace! That is Aurelion Soul! Full of power with a Shivana. Oh my god. It was a catastrophe <laughs> and it was a big case. Now they're going for that push right there. That's yeah. exactly what we were waiting for. Catastrophic misplay coming in with that Herald. Forcing a fight when it was very badly timed using that glacial fissure. And now Kyle can take full advantage of it. Beautiful yes, stuff. Kalix taking the lead right here after a very good fight that they take. They get they get the dragon, they get the ace, they get the mid turret, and even the tier 2 turret very low. That's still gold for them. And look at the gold lead. We now are looking at a 5k gold lead onto the blue side. Kalix, our Thailand team is in the lead right here in game number 2. And that's what you need to do to get back into this series. They're up, oh, they're down 0 to 1. And if they win this, we will be looking at the game number 3. For sure, for sure. Like, based on what's happening right now, three towers already being taken by Calyx here. They have the gold lead as well, not to mention the the passive for Shivana that's added HP. They're going to enjoy that. All right, yes. Um, look, let me look at this at the top. Aurelian Soul with the stun right there. The tart, the third is still going to go down. It is going to be the stasis to make him survive, and it's going to be good flash away. Slicing Maelstrom is not going to hit anyone right there. At the very tip, it is going to hit, but it's not going to do that much damage on the Aurelian Soul. But still, it is going to be Alistar who goes down. Good stun right there by Aurelian Soul. And the Shire is going to be taken down. Kennen will have a half woman, half bird for dinner. <laughs> All right. 10 to 9 on the scoreboard we have a 4k gold lead onto the blue side but that fight is taken by our indonesian team araceli 10 not giving up at all that was good stuff from araceli they got two kills out of that the wukong was the only casualty but what did they get out of it right after that they weren't able to convert any objectives they weren't able to get that second tower. They could have pressured for it, which would have yes. been a lot better. But they backed off immediately. So now, they lose control over that side. Uh, Camille was pushing bot side. Camille actually backed off as well. So that's the only way that they could actually get a trade out of that. So there. Yes. At least they get something out of that engagement. They convert it at the very uh, last moment. But throughout that, you got you to gotta make sure. If you're going to be going for these kills, you need to turn it around and turn it into objectives. Because kills are temporary. Those towers right. are going to die permanently. Right, man. Um, yeah, I think a big factor of that decision right there to just go back was the split push of Camille. Camille is is a monster when it comes to split push, and with that pressure, they really need needed to go back home. Um, little miscommunication. One champion would have been enough, but they're not yet confident enough to really go all out against this team since team since they are still down, especially in the gold lead. Mm. Mm. They were able to get two towers already. RSLE are ramping up to go for this comeback. They have the means. They have the wombo combo potential. But they're going to need to rely heavily on Lenore here. Not to mention, the entry from uh, from Silax and Chica on the Wukong and Brom need to be perfect. If they mm -hmm. can actually do that, Pengu Pengu on this Kaisa is going to destroy everyone. That's way too much AoEs to actually handle in a team fight. Yes. So 
working on that point, man, not just, ano, not just, um, Pengu Pengu on the Kaisa. If ever Wukong and Brom will give a good initiation, uh, the Canon Ultimate Slicing Maelstrom is gonna wreak havoc and it should win the game for them at that point. So, yeah, we need Wukong and we need Brom to go online with their ultimates if they want to win this game. And here it is at the bottom. It's gonna be a poking game by Lenore. Up at the top, it's gonna be Olaf versus this Camille. But oh, Camille is gonna be very Gee, painful. Olaf GA popped. He is gonna survive this time. Thankfully, he has the GA. It would have been catastrophic for the red team right here. The Baron is already available, and one pick off from either side can open up the Baron. It's, that's gonna be uh, bad news for their team if that happens. So let's see what happens further. Oh, the Dragon is, al is already alive. By the way, it's the Mountain Drake. It's Blue Team who is here. First red oh, team no. will have to come back here and deny this, but there's the stun of the Aurelius Soul. Already, already too late. Good stun by Aurelius Soul to zone everyone out, and red team is on evasive maneuvers. Cannon will try to get in. Doesn't hit the slice maelstrom and that is your signal to back away dragon goes to the blue team man now they have a shivana with a slow on the on the on the twin bite that is gonna be a big problem um if they actually survive the cannon slicing maelstrom and yes. then true bite connects onto that cannon you're gonna expect a slowed cannon cannon's not gonna get out Right, man. So they need to make sure the fight ends right after that cannon ult. This is what RSL is going to be banking on moving forward. Yeah, but right now, um, Kalex knows that Cannon doesn't have an ultimate. They they have an option to go uh, aggressive in this, but they will just not take that risk. They really want to get a pick off as of the moment to to really go for uh, this Baron take right here. They do have map control at the top, so they know what the red team is happening is going to be doing. And there it is, a good entry right there by the Alistar. But uh, the two champions, Wukong and uh, Cannon, are just mobile enough to get away from trouble, and that is going to be a reset for both teams at the bottom. It's gonna be Olaf versus this Camille. Ang init na ng and dalawa It's they've been at it since the early part of the game, and they're not done yet with their one v one. And up the top, the pressure still on, but the good defense of the red team is at it. Alex and Araceli, very intense right now. This is like the calm before the storm. You're already seeing there a cannon go. cutting it from the side. They might actually commit slicing Maelstrom. No, that's Camille being way too fast for you. But they now have information that Kennen and Olaf are bot side. Uh, I'm pretty sure Andy here is just going to continue um, getting their attention, distracting them as much as possible, buying time, because you're already seeing movement from Kalix. They're sure. getting their movements there towards the top side because they want to get something done. And now that uh, now that Araceli are aware of this, look at the scramble coming in from Araceli. They want to make sure that the cannon goes back. The Olaf is going to need to recall. And while this is all happening, look at Camille continuing that push. Trying to be that distraction, trying to split up the members of Araceli so that they would be a lot weaker because in a five man team fight, Araceli are going to destroy. Yep, Camille is looking at the Olaf right now. And man, oh, Camille is owning this Olaf, man. Olaf could, could not really go aggressive in this Camille alone. Andy is doing it. The micros right now for Camille is doing it for her. Uh, yeah, we mentioned this early in the game. The micro is going to matter. And there it is. Olaf being a strong champion is not able to uh, face up with this Camille because of the advantage Camille has built up over the game. And Camille is going to go aggressive on this. But I think Camille will regret that decision. Will have to use her flash away. And she is out of there. Spots an opening and says, see you Later, everyone. Oh, he's not done yet. Some, uh, Hi. A, a and here play. comes XX Ultimate with the stun of Aurelius Sol is gonna be very big. And the ultimate of the Aurelius Sol is gonna be on point. Olaf is gonna have to run away. Ragnarok's out, but two champions are on his behind. He is gonna die. That's the opening they're looking for. Kennen will have to split push and try to distract the team right here. Will do his best for this distraction, but Baron is gonna be the next on the menu. No, they're gonna go for the push right here. Elder Drake is gonna spawn in the 30 seconds. And decision making it. What decision are they gonna do? Uh, or Rail Sol is gonna go for the defense here at the top and good job with this cannon distracting the team. It makes that hard decision for the other team to do. It, it makes it hard for the team to make a decision, really, and try to try to capitalize. They just got an attack turret after that instead. There would have been, it would have been a baron if not for the cannon, but good job, cannon. What a fight, man. 
This is Drake. a big lead now for the side of Kalex. They are in position here. You already see 10 seconds left for the side of GG Miel. GG Miel is not going to be able to make it here. They need to contest this for V5 because it's going to be way too fast for the side of Kalex. They're actually going to be able to take this Elder Drake right now. They're not going to be in position to actually go for it. They're just going to be backing off Whoa. and giving away an Elder Drake onto a Shivana. That's not going to be Whoa. good. Slicing Maelstrom already committed here. They might actually have enough damage to actually take out the Shivana. But now the dive in. Now the Kaisa is going to come in to cut them out. Boom. That is the Saya going down for dead. The GA is popped. No one's left for the side of Kalix. You can have that Elder. We're going to ace you all out. And now <laughs> they're going to be going for the GG push. This could be 2-0 if this timer is not going to be enough. They could just go straight for it. They're gonna They're go going for the Baron. For Baron. No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> no, they won't. They won't. For the love of God, Araceli, you guys should have just barreled down mid. That was such a long death timer. You could have ended it there. They wanted to make sure, though. They're playing it really safe. They won that fight out, right? The question yes. is can they survive against uh, a team with Elder Drake? That's true damage. They're oh god! Ooh. They're going! They're going! They're going right, for they're the Baron! For they want to make sure. I think they're playing it safe, but that's a lot of them spotting. They're gonna get the Baron out of that, but now the question is how they're gonna be capitalizing with this Baron. If this okay. Baron is not used perfectly, this fight can still turn. True, man. But yeah, uh, if they just go directly down the mid, it would have been a win already. Look at that. They were able to take the uh, the mid third with just the Olaf alone. And that would have been a very big opening for them to finish this game. Instead, uh, I understand them, man. They were down. They could not believe that they won that fight right there. Even me, I can't believe that they won the fight after the, the Drake right there. And they were surprised. And when they won, they, they really can't decide yet what to do next. They're not yet that confident. Still, even after winning that 5v5 and they just opted for a tactical game right there they they i think they're still even surprised they were able to push down the mid after the baron take right there but here we go they have the baron buff right here they should have the confidence right here they're gonna go for a 131 but camille is still dealing so much damage to this olaf olaf is gonna be turned on and here it is x6 oh, ultimatum on oh, the big olaf. daddy olaf olaf will try to use the ragnarok but it's not gonna be enough olaf goes down from that camille but at the top it's gonna be a, a, a fight right here no initiation just just yet they're gonna go for the third this is gonna be very wise for the red team oh no there it is the ultimate of the brum to start everything off they are gonna be doing it Heck, ultimate made a cannon right there but it's not gonna be enough they are gonna focus on the champions instead but they won't be able to push that third and they are punished for it that is gonna be a team wipey wipe just now boom there it is ace in the base is these <laughs> this uh, camille oh, no. right here i think they can win this if they have a tp uh, do they have a tp they should oh, no. go home and buy tp right now they can wish push this right now but i don't think they won't do that <laughs> here we go probably what gonna be fight. doing it already what happened? <laughs> right. oh, I don't know. There we go. There there, we it's go. not there needed go. even, right? It's not even needed. The, the Saiya is enough for that push right there. And that is going to be Kalix getting game number two, evening the series. Now, we are going to have a game number three. What a fight, Isaac. What do you think about that, man?